Olurombi, and the Eroko tree. In a land graced by the sun and caressed by the gentle winds, there stood an ancient Iroko tree, Iroko Oluere, towering above the rest with its majestic branches stretching towards the heavens. It was not just any tree but a powerful spirit, tree, revered and worshipped by the people of the land. They believed that Iroko Oluere possessed the power to grant their deepest desires, but in return they must offer something of value, a token of their gratitude, ranging from goats and yams to chickens and clothes. Among the inhabitants of this land was a woman named Olurombi. Olurombi was known for her beauty and kindness, but beneath her gentle smile lay a well of deep sorrow. She was barren and had spent many years in silent despair, her dreams of cradling her own child fading with each passing day. Olurombi had sought remedies far and wide, consulted healers and seers, all to no avail. Driven by her longing and the ache in her heart, Olurombi approached the Iroko tree one day, her feet bare, her eyes filled with tears. She knelt before Iroko Oluere, her voice trembling with emotion as she pleaded. <laughs> oh, great Iroko, <laughs> spirit of life and giver of blessing, <laughs> I stand before you, <laughs> a woman hallowed by her barrenness. Grant me the joy of motherhood, a child to call my own. In return, I shall give you the most precious gift I can offer, the child itself. <laughs> the air around Olurambi thickened, and a deep, resonant voice echoed from within the tree. Olurambi, your plea has been heard. Your vow has been accepted. A child will be granted to you, but remember your promise for it is sacred and must not be broken. Time passed, and as the seasons changed, so did Olurombi's fate. She bore a child, a daughter of unparalleled beauty and vibrancy. The joy that filled Olurombi's life was immeasurable. She cherished every moment, every smile, every tear of her beloved child. However, as her daughter grew, the memory of her vow to the Iroko tree began to fade, overshadowed by her love and the happiness that her child brought into her life. Years went by, and the Iroko tree, patient and unyielding, summoned Olurombi. A reminder of the promise made, a debt unpaid. Olurombi, struck by fear and love, found herself torn. How could she give up the very essence of her joy, the child she had longed for, to the Iroko tree? In her desperation, Olurombi sought to deceive the spirit tree, offering other valuable gifts instead of her child. But the Iroko tree was not to be fooled. Angered by Olurombi's betrayal and her broken vow, the Iroko tree unleashed a curse upon Olurombi, a punishment for her deceit. After the curse had been cast, the land and its people suffered greatly. Crops failed, rivers dried up, and despair spread like a shadow. Olurombi, once revered for her beauty and kindness, now bore the weight of her community's suffering. The joy her daughter brought her was now tinged with the sorrow of their collective plight. The curse was severe, not only upon Olorombi, but upon her land, causing despair and misfortune. Realizing the gravity of her actions and the pain it brought to those around her, Olorombi sought forgiveness, not just from the Iroko tree, but from her community and her child. Realizing the depth of her mistake, Olorombi sought to make amends. She approached the Iroko tree once more, not with offerings of material value, but with a contrite heart and a plea for forgiveness. She acknowledged her selfishness and the pain it had caused, not only to the Iroko tree, but to her people. Oh, great Iroko Lueri, great spirit, I come before you, not as a woman wronged by faith, but as one who has wronged others. In my blindness, I broke the vow, sacred vow I made, choosing happiness over the well-being of others I love. I seek your forgiveness and plead for a chance to right the wrongs I have done. <laughs> Kaluku jeje, wure, 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 Olika luku jeje, aguto, aguto gorodo, 
Olu ro mi je je obore obore apo bi epo Olu ro mi o joy joy o ko joy joy Oni kalu ko je Moved by Olurombi's sincerity and her willingness to atone the Iroko tree decided to lift the curse but with conditions Olurombi was to teach her daughter and her people the value of honesty the importance of keeping one's word and the necessity of living in harmony with nature. Only through these actions could balance be restored. Oluronbi agreed, dedicating her life to fulfilling these conditions. She became a beacon of wisdom and integrity, guiding her daughter and her community toward a path of righteousness and respect for the natural world. The land healed, prosperity returned, and the people once again lived in harmony with the spirits of nature. The tale of Olurombi, while a creation of the imagination, carries with it timeless truths that speak to the human condition. It is a reminder of our responsibilities to each other and to the world we inhabit. Through stories like these, we pass on values of integrity, humility, and respect, hoping to inspire generations to come. Moral lessons from the story. 1. The Weight of Promises Olurombi's story teaches us the importance of keeping promises, especially those made in moments of desperation. A promise is a sacred bond, and breaking it can lead to unforeseen consequences, not just for oneself, but for others around us. 2. The Consequences of Selfishness In her desire to keep her happiness intact, Olurombi acted selfishly, forgetting the welfare of the greater good and the respect due to the Iroko tree. This tale reminds us that our actions and decisions, especially those made out of selfishness, can have far-reaching effects on our community and environment. 3. Redemption and Forgiveness Despite Olurambi's mistake, the story highlights the power of seeking forgiveness and making amends. It teaches us that it is never too late to acknowledge our wrongdoings, learn from them, and strive to correct our actions, fostering healing and reconciliation within the community. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have learned something from our stories. Please write in the comment box, and also, please subscribe to our channel for more captivating and educative folktale stories. See you in the next story.